2002 Mastercraft X Star. This is the second generation X Star. The uh, original generation was a 205 direct drive. This is a 205 V. Whitehall white deck with the gunmetal main stripe. Really, absolutely gorgeous boat. This is uh, this is actually an amazing master graph, which takes a, a lot for me to say. Um, so this is uh, 2002. 2002 was the first year for this version zero flex tower, and it fits this boat beautifully. Triple ballast uh, has about 700 pounds of ballast, but this 205V creates an absolutely gorgeous wake. Um, original graphics, they are 99% mint. You can see that the Mastercraft on the corners is really pretty. This boat is in a very original uh, 2002 X-Star or 205V. Um, has perfect pass on it. Has the upgraded LTR, 330 horsepower, 5.7 liter, multi-port fuel injected motor. And it runs beautifully. It comes on a single axle Mastercraft trailer. Um, 800 hours. So been used, it's been great. Let's step on the inside and check it out. All right, here we are in the interior of the uh, Mastercraft X-Star. I think one of the only one negatives on this boat is it has, somebody's painted the platform or done some sort of coating on it. But anyways, it's there, it looks really pretty. Sand it off, it looked great. Starboard and port hatches have been reskinned. This is you know what, these might be factory skins. And this might have been redone. That actually makes more sense. While we're here, we're getting close over there. So I'm gonna fire this up. You're gonna immediately see, Mark, the tack is not working. You're right. So we have a new one coming. We have not installed it yet. But um, it does have 799.5 hours on it. And then we are So there's our, there's our RPMs. So we're actually reading. Water temp, voltage, 700.7 hours, which is interesting. So this might've been replaced at some point. So I'd almost re go off that one and we'll get an ECM reading and uh, get that confirmed. But all the other gauges are working perfectly. Those look nice. Remote, which is really great. Ballast, empty, empty, empty. We do have some ballast in there. Ballast bag, KGB, and then port and starboard stern. So we're gonna let that, we'll knock those off because that's kind of loud. Bow is really pretty. And again, I believe that this port and starboard have been reskinned, and these, the bow splash and the bow base, are the original seats because those colors match a little bit more. But nice clarion speakers in the front. The cones seem to be there, but the grills are kind of popped on those. As you can see, that one's smashed. 2002, it's amazing. Flip up driver's seat. We do have cracking right there, pretty normal. Actually, for this vintage, if anybody's ever looked at a Mastercraft, they're known to split. And I think it just goes to a testament that this boat has this much original interior in it, that how well it's been taken care of. But you can kind of see we have some discoloration on here. Ballast tank, storage. We have a cover on this side, the cover, air dam, snap in. But now we get to reveal the Inmar LTR, which is a 5.7 liter multi-port injected, 330 horsepower motor, oil, fuel filter, fresh impeller, fully serviced, ready to go. Let's come over here. Updated head unit, which we now have in and this actually makes more sense because I don't know if that actually it does 
Hey, remote works. And this door does flip open, but I can't see. There it goes. USB headphone, and then it does have Bluetooth. So, easy peasy. Very nice. Looks like somebody's updated it with the Roswell amp. Maybe the original amp. Clarion died, but there it is. All right, let's watch some running footage of this Minty 2002 Mastercraft X-Star. Full ballast in the X-Star, here we go. There you go, guys. Give us a call at N3 Boatworks with any questions or for more information.